back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe a big shout out to the person that suggested this and a big shout out to everyone that keeps on subscribing to our channel we're very very grateful thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do we appreciate so today i'm going to be reacting to worship the way to allah so without wasting time let's get into the video Worshipping God, the source of power. God Almighty specifically created us to allow our hearts and souls to make the journey towards Him, to attain communion with Him and observe His glory and beauty. This is the ultimate end of all goals and giving. In order to achieve this magical destination, one must take the path of obedience and worship. What feeling do you think a true believer feels when he or she abandons this whole world and dedicates some time of a day standing in between the hands of a magnificent creator, a caring king, and a magnanimous god, intending to inspire spiritual awareness and live conscience in you? Worshipping God continuously asserts lowliness to you and servitude to God. It ensures that no matter whom we become and what we achieve, in reality, we are nothing but servants of God. In Islamic context, worship is a broad term. Everything you say or do internally or externally to please God is called Worship. Worshipping leads to heaven. Ritual worshipping removes the veils between you and God, those veils that have been piled through years of sinning. Hence the divine love and enlightenment can then start to shine brightly on your soul, giving you extremely intense power and experiences deep inner strength to face anything. You already know that a bad habit can be easier to quit by replacing it with a good habit. Hence, replacing your bad habits with worshipping will not only save you from immorality, but amazingly, our merciful God will transform all your sins into good deeds. Clearly now, you can see worshipping from a whole new perspective. It is not only a duty that you're obliged to perform, rather it's much more beneficial for your life and your hereafter. Once you start to truly understand this fact, worshipping God will become a craving desire that you can't resist. Every day during the 40 days of repentance, dedicate at least one hour to clear your mind from all worldly affairs. Focus your mind on repenting your sins and perform the following Islamic ritual worshipping. The Five Daily Rituals Praying Praying is the greatest daily ritual you can perform. The amount of power you receive is beyond imagination. Divine light will occupy and enrich your soul with energy to avoid wickedness. But always remember that those benefits can only be achieved when you truly feel the presence of the one you're worshipping.
fasting. Fasting has a great influence to disconnect your soul from materials. It elevates it to a high spiritual level of contentment. If you think you are highly driven by carnal or worldly desires, fasting is highly recommended. Invocation Many people get the idea that God is too busy to deal with their minor issues and needs. This is not true. Out of His mercy, God deeply cares for your smallest concern as well as your greater struggles. He wants to be as close as possible to you, involved in every aspect of your life. He is always ready and waiting to shower you with His blessings. He only waits for your invocation. Never stop asking God for support, guidance, and giving. Quran Sadly, there are numerous sins that are committed daily because of fears, anxieties, and stress. Anger, for example, is fueled by fear. Hence, reducing your fears and anxieties can significantly balance your anger, so you can then control yourself from harming other people emotionally or physically. Some people, for example, fear poverty. Satan uses this fear in them and provokes them to cheat. Amazingly, reciting the Holy Quran daily eliminates your stresses and fears. Remembrance It is estimated that a human mind gets around 60,000 thoughts daily. Most of those thoughts are evil and negative. In contrast, however, focusing your thoughts on God and His creation will moderate those evil thoughts and will help your brain on thoughts that will enhance your ability to purify your thinking. The best way to remember God is to return to your origin. Go back to where you belong. You were made from clay. Therefore, the truth is to be found in nature, the ultimate creation of God. Dedicate some time to think and wonder about God, and you wonder about heaven and hell day and night. The greatest discoveries in history came from contemplation. The positive impact of those five rituals cannot be described, rather it can only be revealed. Once you practice them as a true believer, your worshipping will become less about your needs and more about what God desires for your life. Too often we think we don't have enough time to worship, but remember that worship is the birthplace of all ease. Rather than being simple monologue, allow every cell in your body to worship God. Through true consistent worshiping, you can become one of God's specials. A lot of spiritual secrets will be ready for you to discover. You will start to experience emotions that are strange, unique, exceptional. But believe me, they are wonderful.
very beautiful video i feel like well it really had a very very good message i'm trying to think if i apply this to my life i think three out of five of these i do which is not good which is not bad but i mean i could do five out of five of these i'm sleeping on myself i'm sleeping on god and um i mean prayer is something that we should do every day there there's no excuse another thing people actually forget about god just take your time go out there the mentioned nature go out there appreciate nature give yourself um an environment where you can um you feel like you're comfortable enough to remember god there's one thing that i haven't tried though which is fasting i mean there's days that i've gone without eating because i was busy but me saying okay tomorrow let me fast and actually go through with it has actually never happened i mean i don't know why it's never happened i keep saying i love food but then the thing is it's something that i would love to try i really have to try that something that i want to try and i'll write it down so that i'm reminded if a day comes when it's um when if a day presents itself and i'm ready to fast i think i'll do that i remember i reacted to something and they said a good day to fast is thursday if i'm not mistaken but you can correct me in the comment section if i'm wrong so yeah i'll write that down and look forward to it otherwise practice these five things that were mentioned in the video and if you already do tell me how's your life what changes are you seeing in your life um how is it helping you otherwise great and make great and amazing video as usual make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video